What's up, Auto Monster fans? We're back at it for another weekend of fun activities. Uh, we are in Maple Park, Illinois at Sycamore Speedway this weekend. Right here behind us, we got Rockwell Red, and then we got Velociraptor. We got all the trucks all tired up. We got the shock set. Uh, we're looking forward to a good weekend. It's a speedway show. We got a lot of fun action, bus stacks, car stacks. Uh, it's the first time for me and Tutal to be here, so we're really looking forward to it. Uh, so being out on the road, traveling the country, part of this lifestyle, it's fun. I'm a second generation driver. My dad, I was fortunate enough to go out on the road with him when he had his truck. So, uh, you know, it's kind of bittersweet this weekend. I got uh, my nephew Leland with me this weekend and next weekend. So uh, it's pretty cool to be out on the road and he gets to live the lifestyle and then he loves the sport just as much as I do. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really fun having him along. So in the last video, you guys probably seen uh, in my freestyle in the end cab, I was moving around quite a bit. And uh, when you move around in one of these monster trucks, it's uh, it's not very good actually. You wanna be as tight as you possibly can and you wanna become one to the truck. Uh, it's something I've been kind of struggling with all year. Uh, I have a uh, custom containment seat uh, built to my body by ISP Seats. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer in them and you know, uh, safety is number one in this sport. So if you're not doing stuff right if you don't have the right safety equipment then you're not even doing it at all so uh since last weekend or the last video i i upgraded my safety devices uh I contacted aaron at simpson i got a brand new uh stilo helmet here my uh my old bandit helmet that i had uh, from simpson it was going on about five years so starting to get to the point of uh starting to think about retiring that and uh i used to have what they call a hans device um and that i didn't really have much luck with and then i tried a different uh, hybrid and uh, this is a new hybrid this is a monster truck specific hybrid uh, and it connects to your helmet and then these straps go around your chest here uh, and then they also buckle into your lap belt into the truck uh, to keep you nice and tight and become one to the truck so, so this is a look inside uh, what would be my office uh, you got the brake and the gas there the steering uh, steering wheel goes on to the steering column there um, it's got a uh, quick release on the back of it so you can get out and hurry if you need to uh, so we run rear steer it's electric over hydraulic pump so uh, this controls you know which direction you want to go and then this switch here is whenever you see the rear steer uh, straighten back up uh, this is what they call self-center so you can toggle it on and off typically whenever you're going into a, uh, a donut you want to toggle it off so it doesn't deadhead and burn the pump up and also moving around like on concrete uh, these trucks don't really like to turn on concrete so uh, it winds the pump out so once you get it turned uh, you can uh, turn that off to uh, just kind of save a little bit on the pump and we got all our gauges there our tack oil pressure this is probably your number one and this is your number two this is your water temp uh, and this is transmission uh, pressure gauge and then of course your voltmeter there and those are all the fun switches um, this right here this is our kill radio RII remote ignition interrupter so all the safety officials out on the track uh, they have a communication device handheld and whenever they feel the need to shut us off all they got to do is press a button and what it does is it kills the ignition to our truck and that is our ignition box we run a MSD 7AL system and uh, works out really well so uh, you know as I was talking about movement in the truck uh, this is the custom ISP seat that I was talking about um, this is a, uh, a five-point harness uh, you have your your two shoulder belts right there and then you have a lap belt on your left and then another lap belt on your right and then you have your center uh, belt right there uh, this is a kind of a five point seven point hybrid setup I guess you could say uh, it just kind of keeps your legs a little bit more tighter held to the seat so you're not bouncing around so another problem that I was having uh, in my knot was I noticed that my lower half was moving around so I needed to tighten it up a little bit so what we have here is this is the lower ratchet system um, and the belt will go through the seat there uh, and then what you do is when you get in there, you, there's a sequence that you ratchet yourself in between your shoulder belts and your lap belts and you want to get uh, tight as phys physically possible. Um, if you can't breathe, then you're close to being tight. Um, I know that sounds funny, but realistically, by the time that you're done running, uh, you actually do end up coming a little bit of loose. Um, it just, it's, it's part of it happens. So when I mounted this customized piece seat, uh, these mounts were already in the truck. So I built the mounts here to, you know, rise the seat up to where I needed to be. And, uh, so I just went off of this angle and this mount for my lap belt. And as the year went on, I noticed that, you know, I needed to do some more work to it. So uh, what it does is this, the, the belt is not pulling back enough. So therefore, it's letting me move forward. And then my 
bottom half of my body is basically doing this motion in the seat. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is relocating this ratchet here and I'm going to be moving it back and up. Uh, what's that going to do is that's going to pull it down and pull me back into the seat and prevent me from going forward. Uh, and how I'm going to do that is, is I got some two inch by quarter inch uh, flat stock steel and I'm going to be, uh, pop two holes in it, uh, put a couple bins in it uh, to relocate this ratchet up here. Um, if that is a step in the right direction, then I will make a more permanent mount. This is just kind of a test uh, to see we're out on the road we're limited with what we have to work with so you just kind of got to make do with what you got so uh, and the reason why I would make it more rigid in a permanent mount is by doing what I'm about to do is I'm gonna put two pivot points in this belt and you really don't want that so um, you know then I would eventually cut this tab off and either make a whole new mount or I would weld a uh, uh, weld it to this mount we'll see how that goes but anyways um, we're gonna get after it So as you guys seen, did a little cutting, bending, drilling on that uh, that flat stock. We got it all uh, bent up and bolted up here. Um, like I said, it's not the prettiest. It's just a temporary thing out on the road doing what we can. Um, got the other side all done up and everything there. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully we're making a step in the right direction. I, uh, I lengthened my center belt a little bit so it uh, puts it more closer to uh, my belly button, which is uh, on spec where it needs to be. So. Um, tonight's gonna be the test. Check it out. Just got trucks parked for pit party. Uh, it's a great evening here in Maple Park, Illinois. We've got the legendary Danny Mass making an appearance. Gonna get some cool shots and video, hopefully. So, we got all the trucks here. R2, Rap Attack, Dirt Crew, Reptoid. And then way over there, you can see it. There are dirt dozers over there. Uh, getting ready, doing some last minute stuff where they come to pit party and uh, it's going to be a muddy mess tonight, but we're going to make the best of it and try to have some fun. What do you think, Tittles? Uh, I think they need to add a little water. <laughs> we definitely got a muddy one tonight. We're going to go out here and make the best of it and do what we can and slip and slide and put on a show. What's up, everybody? I uh, just wrapped up the first show of the weekend uh, here in Maple Park, Illinois from Moss Truck Throwdown. Uh, it was a pretty successful night. I took home the racing win. Almost had freestyle sealed up, but uh, Darren Basil went out there and sealed the deal. I uh, did an awesome run in the Dirt Crew Dozer. Uh, blasted the uh, bus stack three times, flat tire, mud, flying everywhere. It was pretty epic. Uh, apologize we didn't get no footage. Um, short-handed this weekend so it's just me and dave and uh, we didn't have nobody to film and plus with it being mud and hectic and all that so i uh, try to get some footage for you guys tomorrow on the next show uh, as far as the truck though uh, we're gonna need to give it a little bath uh, it was slipping and sliding and having a good time out there slinging some mud um, it was fun you know these mud shows they they suck when it comes to cleanup but uh it makes fun you know driving sliding around just having a good old time and uh you know dave he uh, had some unfortunate luck in uh best trick he ended up breaking a sway bar when he broke the sway bar took out a self-center assembly um and unfortunately we couldn't get no footage of that because i was strapped in the truck and he was rushing to get, make it back for racing and um it was a way to good show uh he's back at the trailer uh, i'm gonna start washing this thing we're gonna get cleaned up and hopefully do it again tomorrow peace
What's up everybody? I uh, just finished uh, show two here at Sycamore Speedway in Maple Park, Illinois. Uh, show went good until freestyle. Um, me and Dave, we both did a uh, pretty good job and best trick. I went out and got a nice uh, slap wheelie first hit, uh, straight up and down sky wheel in my second. Dave went out there and uh, attempted a slap wheelie and then he uh, got a nice little stoppy popper uh, to finish it off. He ended up taking the win, so good job to him. Uh, then me and him matched up in the racing finals and it's always a good time racing too tall and uh, come around the last turn and I uh, clipped the, uh, the inside tire, got up on two wheels and uh, saved it and uh, he grabbed the win there. And then uh, freestyle, everything was going good and uh, you know, uh, hit the car stack and just bad luck, bad hit. And um, uh, some of the cars that, you know, they uh, had the motors left in them. And so when that's the case, the front will stay rigid, the trunk will collapse. And then when we hit it, the truck will twist in the air. And unfortunately that's what happened and it came down, broke a front spindle and, uh, you know, bent the uh, safety wheel tether, uh, which it did its job. So, um, you know, that's what we wanted. And uh, unfortunately it messed up the body behind us a little bit, but all that stuff's repairable. I'm okay. Uh, I got some good uh, uh, safety equipment. I got a good team behind me. So uh, we'll be uh, back ready for ne uh, next weekend. And uh, Iona, Michigan, uh, too tall. He ended up getting the overall event uh, win here. So good job to him. He's a great driver and like being teammate with him. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to get rolling and get packed up and we'll see you there.